Uh, my name is Raj Pasoor, I'm a psychiatrist, I work in private practice in Harley Street and I'm really delighted to be at the Lecture Club. I'm going to be talking about the psychology of seduction. I'm going to be explaining why there are rules to attraction and seduction and what the psychological rules are and also be explaining that they generalize across life so it's not just about uh, how to, to find, uh, catch and keep the perfect partner but how to be successful in life generally. Um, relationships are at the heart, in my view, of human happiness. Uh, and that's why I got interested in the area and began to read about the research and eventually wrote a book. If you were to think about the number one thing you could do to ensure you stay sane, stay resilient and never ever have to come and see someone like me for the rest of your life, the one thing you would need to do, the most important thing you could do, that's most predictive of the future of your mental health, is to meet and marry or settle down with the right person. Meet, marry or settle down with the wrong person and you might as well buy a season ticket to my clinic. <laughs> Negotiation between the genders in terms of relationships. Often the different genders aren't quite seeing eye to eye. If you want to maximize um, your skill and ability in this area, it's understanding how the different female and male brain works. We're going to discuss relationships from a scientific standpoint, what the science tells us, and in particular from an evolutionary biological standpoint, which is that why do we find certain things attractive? in the opposite sex or in the same sex, if that's what floats your mind. You know what gets really interesting in terms of where the gender differences begin to kick in, which is if you want to change the question to what do you value most in a prospective partner for a long-term relationship, then both genders put intelligence right up there as like number one and number two. If you change it to a medium-term relationship, what do you value, then um, men start to drop the intelligence they're looking for in a woman. For women, it drops a bit, but hardly very little drop off. But I think that a powerful analysis of relationships is to break them up into three key phases. The first phase is the attention phase. You walk into a bar, a very attractive member of the opposite sex gets your attention. The attention phase lasts for maybe a few seconds to a few minutes. Then the next phase kicks in when you start talking to that person or getting to know them. The interest phase. The final phase is the maintenance phase. And the acronym we use in the book is AIM. There are a lot of kind of hunting analogies uh, when it comes to relationships. But the maintenance phase is when you're with someone for the next 5, 10, 15, 20, or 40 years. 